Hey, Christ Fellowship Church family, we are approaching the final days of 2023, and as we prepare to move into 2024, I have been thinking about how we as a church can continue to be rooted in our Bibles. And one of the things that we did over the last two years was we read through this, this two-year Bible reading plan taken from Gospel Coalition. And not everyone participated, but those of you that did, the feedback that I got was it was overwhelmingly uh, positive, it was empowering, it was fun. And so what I would like for us to do is to just do it again. Uh, for us to take every two years to read through the Bible again and again and again. So even if you did this already over the last two years, I'd encourage you ramp up to do it again because we can never get too much of God's word. But one of the, the pieces of feedback that I received uh, over the last two years uh, from those of you that, that worked through this was, well, the main piece of feedback was this, this need for community accountability and discussion, right? To not kind of be siloed off, isolated, reading this on your own, but what would it look like to do this with other people? And so here's my hope as we move into 2024 and 2025. I want us to do this again. I'm going to offer this once again to the church, but my hope is two things. My hope, I'm going to try to keep up with this, is that at the beginning of every book, as we get to Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, etc., to just record a very brief video saying, hey, here's the book that we're coming into, here's probably who wrote it and when, here are some of the major themes, just to keep us um, just deep in the study, uh, pushing us into a deeper understanding of what we're reading. But secondly, if you're interested, I would love for you to sign up and say, I want to engage in this, and we will form some sort of a group. And I'm going to ask you to maybe help form that idea with me, but some sort of a group that either meets weekly, maybe like in a Wednesday night fellowship situation, or maybe just once a month, we get together and we say, what have you been liking? What's been confusing? What was your takeaway from Exodus? What was your takeaway from Jonah? What was your takeaway from the gospel of Mark, you know, so so we can have a group of people that are are working through this together and having a place to ask questions and to share insights. So we're just taking what we did over the last two years, but I, I want to beef it up just a little bit. So if you did this last year, the last two years, I'd encourage you to do it again. If you did not, now is your opportunity to try it, hopefully with a little bit more accountability. So I'm going to send something out probably contained in this in this email where you can sign up and you can say, I'm interested in participating in that. And then in the coming weeks and months, uh, we will try to find a way uh, for our group to meet together and to continue uh, to check in, hold each other accountable. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to be gone over the next week. So if you're interested in this pursuit, don't wait for me. Don't wait for the rest of CFC. January 1st, you can go ahead and just start reading. We have a few more of these physical handouts on the slap board of our church, and then we also have a virtual version uh, under the resources tab of our website. So I hope that you will join me in this pursuit of studying the Bible again, and I pray that we at CFC could just really build a culture that is hungry and thirsty for knowing God's Word. So with that being said, I hope you'll pray about that, and I will see you guys in the new year. Take care.